let's all play a game called Can Lissa Finish This Before Her Photo Shoot? <laughs> and welcome to a new video. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how I made a swimmable mermaid top using just a bathing suit top from Amazon, some fishing wire, a C-shaped needle, a ton of scales from Finfolk Productions, and a little bit of help from some E6000 as well. Without further ado, let's get on into it. So for this project, I'm actually going to use a swimsuit top because I want the final product to be swimmable. If you don't need it to be swimmable, you could just use a regular bra, um, but if you want to swim with it, I would recommend something with swimsuit material. Now my swimsuit has this extra bit to make a cute bow, which I don't really like, but this was the only swimsuit top that I could find that was in uh, color that fit me properly around the bust um, for this project. So this is what we're going with. So I'm actually just going to lay these down as flat as I can. And then I'm just going to stitch it down just with some hand stitches. We're going to cover this whole thing in scales anyway. So I don't think that anyone will be able to tell. Um, and then I'll just cut off the excess. All right, so you can see it's all laying relatively flat. There's going to be some ruching because that's just how the fabric was cut to do that. But like I said, we're going to just cover this all in scales anyway, so I think it's going to be fine for our final product. So now let's just go ahead and do the other side. I've also found that the underwire of this wants to pop out here because the stitches are so far apart they can do that. So uh, while we're here, I'm just going to kind of stitch that into place better. So kind of unrelated, but if you have an underwire problem, here's what you do. You just stitch her back into place. Wow, so easy. That's what you get with fast fashion, guys. No reason to throw it out. Just a few stitches and it'll never bother me again. Mend your clothes, people. Fast fashion is ruining the environment. All right, there's probably a prettier way to do that, but like I said, everything's going to get covered up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Time to get the scales. Here are our scales that we got. These are from Finfolk Productions. Let me pull a few out to show you. So these are from Finfolk Productions. These are their I think mythic scales. These ones are in rose gold and these ones are in the color magic. I think they're really, really pretty. So what we're basically going to do is we're just going to do a row of magic, then a row of rose gold. Please don't fall while I demonstrate. And then a row of magic again. And so the colors are very similar. They're not too far off, but I thought having two different colors would give it a little bit of a dimension. I'm going to use fishing line to sew this on. This has been recommended to me because I guess fishing wire is a little bit um, stretchy, like because obviously fish will pull on it when you're fishing. So it's expected to be tugged on so it doesn't break as easily as um, regular thread might. So that's what I'm going to use to sew it on. And then I think I'm going to try using a curved needle here. I might end up using a normal straight needle. But just because it's going through so many layers and obviously the cup itself is curved, um, I think it might just be easier to go in with a curved needle. So we're going to try that out. Now this is going to be very long because it's all by hand. So I'm not actually going to do all this in front of the camera like I normally do. Um, I'm actually going on a trip so I'm going to take it on a trip with me and that's going to be my little hand sewing project. So it's going to be a minute for me. 
but for you guys it's just gonna be a few seconds and I'll be back and let you know how things are going. So it has come to my attention while editing this video that I didn't actually film any of my sewing on it because I spent so much of my time sewing it while I was on my trip or while we were playing D&D and various things like that. So I thought I would just grab this old bra that has been pretty much deemed a future mermaid bra anyways <laughs> and I will just be kind of simulating my process on here really quick. Now I chose to put all of my scales with the point pointing up. I noticed that a lot of the girls put them pointing down um, so you would like start at the bottom and then layer on top um, and I think that's because if you get a tail with these kinds of scales that's just how they sew the scales on to the tail and then that would be the direction that your tail is going but I don't know I think on the top I just think it looks nicer when they're pointed up maybe if I did it again I'd try it the other way just to see which one I like better it might make more sense to have them pointed down for swimming so that you're not, you know, swimming against your work. <laughs> so first of all, I did use the C-type needle. Mine came with some wig making supplies, but I'm sure it won't be hard at all to just find some. I'll try to find some on Amazon or something and link it down below. Then I just knotted the wire to the needle and I just put a tiny little knot here at the end as well and made sure to snip that as close to the knot as I possibly could so that there was as little slack as necessary. So first we're going to figure out where we want to place it. I'm going to put mine right up here, that's where I started. And so I'm just going to slip my needle in just to give myself a starter to get my wire into my top. Of course my battery died while I'm trying to show you this. So we're back. <laughs> so I've just anchored it into the top here where I want to put it. And we are just going to start with our little scale and I chose to go up through the holes. That just seemed easiest for me. So now we have it and I'm holding it where I want it to go. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of the top and up through and pull tight. And then I would just do that a couple times just to make sure that we were in. And then once I was happy that that was anchored down, I would actually go behind and I would put my needle again between the layers of the top so that I would peek out um, close to where that next hole that I want to go to will be. And that just drags the wire through the fabric so it's not going to be on the back side where it might scratch you and it won't be on the front side where it might show and again just going to go up through the little hole and do it again again just grabbing a little bit of that top and then up through the hole That's it. She's pretty secure. Ozzy, what are you doing? And then that is it. She's pretty secure. And then I would just do that all the way down. Say I wanted to go down. Um, I would come down here, go through the layers of the top. Pull it good and tight. And then we take our second one. up through its hole hold it wherever you think it's nice and then you would just continue again um, going through a little bit of the top up through the hole and so on and so forth okay so this is how far I've gotten on this so you can see I've been rotating every other row magic rose gold magic rose gold magic rose gold um, so this is I think about 40 or so pieces and I think I only had 100 because originally I was going to do three different colors and I decided to pair it down to two different colors and so this is what I've got left to work with and so I think I had 50 of each color originally so we're not going to have enough so I'm going to have to order scales but it's been going pretty good. I've been using the curved needle that I said I was going to use. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my progress. So far, I think it's looking really nice. Let's all play a game called Can Lissa Finish This Before Her Photo Shoot? <laughs> guys, this is taking so long. It is uh, October and I started this at the beginning of September. 
so it's Monday night. The photo shoot is on Saturday, so that's how long we have to figure out this nonsense. But look how pretty it is in the light. It's so shiny. I love it. Anyways, I think everything else I need is finished up for it, so hopefully I can focus on this and get this done. But there's my update for you. It's a long process. Okay, so I had thought that I finished this top, and I did a photo shoot in it, and I and I still like the pictures and everything. Um, but these couple bottom rows just have a tendency of flapping down like this in photos. I'll like put a couple in here to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So to combat that, I'm just going to take a little bit of E6000, and I'm just going to glue these scales to the scales behind them basically to help keep them up. I did test the E6000 on a couple extra pieces that I had and it seems to work fine, doesn't eat anything. Sometimes E6000 likes to eat things, so I went in to test. Um, but anyways, that's what I'm going to do real quick now um, to get this finished up. Okay, so I put this upside down against the books. I thought it would make more sense for them to dry sitting down instead of pull up and then just like not dry attached to something. Does that make sense? I don't know. Gravity. Gravity's your friend, guys. Use gravity <laughs> when you can. So I think I'm pretty much just going to leave it like this and see how that goes. This top was really easy to make. It just took a long time to hand sew every single scale on. There are probably about 140 scales on this top. This is a 32C just for reference. So you definitely need a lot of these, but look how freaking gorgeous it turns out. All right guys, and this is the final product. I think you can see in the different pictures that Gluing the scales down at the bottom did make a big difference for the shape of the top. The photos on the left were before I glued them down and the photos on the right were after I glued them down. Um, either way, I'm really happy with all of these photos. Go forth, create your own magical mermaid goodness. If you create anything inspired by this tutorial, please tag me. I would love to see it. I'm really excited to see my Mersana starting to come together. Comment down below what kind of accessories you think my mermaid needs uh, when she comes back this spring and summer. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.